Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Math Tutorials. So far I explained walls, columns, beams, slabs, and uh, doors and windows. And uh, on the last video, I uh, spoke about lines and arcs. Today I'm going to talk about five tools that is very helpful for us to design in ARCHICAD, which is Train, Split, Adjust, Intersect, and Fillet Chamfer. So, um, so hit the like button and let's learn, practice, and share. Well, the first useful tool is Train. So you can find it here on the standard toolbar. And if you don't have this uh, toolbar right here, you can go to Windows, Toolbars, and here you can uh, have the standard toolbar. So how we should work with this tool? I'm going to draw some um, walls, for example, like that, this, in different angles and different length. So imagine we draw something like this, and uh, we want to cut these three walls here. So we, we can select the trim, and then we can click on any elements that we don't want. Also, by keeping down the control key on the keyboard, we can have the same tool. Uh, and as you can see, there is a scissor right next to the cursor. So when the scissor turns to black, it means that uh, you're on the selected element and you can cut it. The next tool is split. So for example, if I click on this wall, as you see, this wall goes through this point to this point. And uh, for example, you don't need uh, this wall or you don't you want to change the thickness or height or something. I should click on the, the split while I'm selecting the element that we want to apply the split on. And then when I come here, you see the cursor is different from usual. And here we have a bold shape and here is just a narrow line. It's because of the reference line on the wall. So this reference line is here and uh, this is just the thickness of the wall. If I click on uh, this side of the wall, I can select that I want to continue working with this side of this wall or that side. So if I click on this, as you see, the cursor turns to a shape like an eye. So if I click on this way, uh, the ball will be split uh, in two parts right on this line that I uh, clicked. And now on, I can work with this part. I'm going to click uh, on the split tool again. And this time I want to click on the thickness of the wall and not on the reference line. I'm going to click on this line and then it asks again that which side do you want to continue working. I'm going to click on this side and then, for example, here I can change the thickness to another number. Now I change this part of the wall. Also, if you have something like this on uh, your drawings, it is because this uh, reference line isn't connected to the reference line of uh, this wall. So I just did that so you can see that uh, you can also work without the reference line for uh, splitting. But to have uh, correct drawings, it is better to work with the reference line. So by one click on this point, you can drag it to the reference line and this wall will uh, fix itself. Also, this part is because of this part of the wall. So I'm going to do that. And here we have a very neat and clear conjunction of the walls. OK, uh, another thing that we can do here is, for example, we don't want the, this middle part here. Also, for doing this, uh, we don't need to click two times on this split and split the wall twice. Then we delete this part. So again, by holding down the control key, I can change the cursor to trim. And then I can click on this part of the wall and it will trim the wall. The next tool is adjust. As you see, this tool is uh, off now because we didn't select any items. So I'm going to select these three and we can now work with the adjust tool. So first I should draw another wall here like that. 
I'm going to select these uh, three walls again, and then I will adjust these walls to this reference wall. Now all these walls are connected directly to the reference line of this wall. Therefore, we don't see any strange connections between these two elements. And then, for example, if you want to trim this part here, just hold down control key and click. The next useful tool is intersect. So, for example, uh, on our design process, we have, for example, two walls like this, and we want to connect uh, these two walls together or intersect them. And we don't know the intersect point of these two walls. So we should just select these two walls. And then by clicking on the intersect, these walls will reach together and connect at the endpoints. Another tool that works the same as intersect, but a little bit different is fillet and chamfer. Imagine that we want to have a curve connections here between these two walls. I should select these two and then I'm going to click on fillet and chamfer. We can select be between these two options, which is the fillet and chamfer. I can put in the radius. For example, I'm going to put two as two meters and then I'm going to hit OK. Now we have another wall that connects these two walls with a curved wall. Also, we can do the fillet the same. For example, here on these uh, points, it doesn't matter that uh, these two walls are connected together or not. So for this example, I'm going to drag these two walls a little bit back. Then I'm going to select these two. Then I'm going to hit the uh, fillet chamfer tool. And this time we want to work with chamfer. So the radius is the same as uh, the fillet, so um, two meters. And if I hit OK, these walls will be connected together with the third wall and we're going to have the chamfer. I should mention that now this wall is not two meters. It is actually um, three meters and 34 centimeter. So the value that we put here on the chamfer is the radius. So as you can see here in this small triangle, uh, this two meter is the distance right here and not this one. Also, these five tools works on other elements like lines, which is a two dimensional element. I'm going to draw some lines here like that and maybe like this and that. Then we can train by um, holding down the control key, the same as what we had for the walls. Then we can uh, split the line here. If I, for example, select this line here, so I'm going to split it by this line and I will look at this side again. I'm going to hit the split and like that. Now we have three different lines. That just told, let me draw some more lines here. So I'm going to click it like that, maybe one here and even there. And then this line, I'm going to draw it like that. So I'm going to select all these lines and then I want to reach all of these lines to this reference line. I'm going to hit adjust and then I'm going to select this reference line. As you see, these two lines didn't hit uh, the reference line, but they reached to the point that if this line will be continued, they're going to hit it at uh, the same point. So it doesn't matter that uh, this reference line here uh, going to cover all the lines exactly. We can use this reference line just as a guide for ending of uh, these lines that we want to intersect with. And the last tool I want to explain is fillet and chamfer, which works exactly like we did for the walls. I'm going to select these two lines and then I'm going to hit the fillet and chamfer. Then, for example, fillet for two meters and then I hit OK. Then here we have a curved line, an arc that has the radius of two meters. Also for the chamfer, if I select these two lines, for example, and then I'm going to hit the uh, chamfer and then, for example, let's change the number to three and then I hit OK and these lines will be changed like that, which is ugly and I don't like it. So I'm going to put it back to 
uh, to a meter and then okay there is all for today if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and if this is the first time you're watching my videos please hit the subscribe button because there will be many more tutorials i want to share with you guys if you have more questions about these five uh, useful tools please write it down on the comments i'm gonna read it and i'm gonna answer it immediately so have a nice day and see you soon. Bye-bye.